What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here for Practical Machinists as we continue our live coverage of IMTS 2024. We're here at the Okuma booth where there's some very exciting stuff going on. And I'm joined by my friend Wade What's from Okuma. On? Hey, good to see you. Now, Okuma Factory Automation. Okuma we saw Factory a bit automation. of automation, a bit. We saw a lot of automation when we visited your uh, headquarters. Right. But what's Okuma Factory Automation and what does that mean today? So Okuma Factory Automation is our automation integration team within Okuma America Corporation, Charlotte, North Carolina. So we're uh, headed up by a gentleman that I hired here about six, seven months ago, Simon Schneider. He's the director of factory automation. And we've got a team of engineers that work underneath of them. So we can do everything from simple pre-engineered robot solutions to complete custom integration, turnkey packages. We're, we're really positioning ourselves to grow in the automation space for all of our customers in North America. And the only reason I'm laughing is you just kind of briefly wave to this incredible thing behind <laughs> us. What are we looking at back here? This is one of the craziest automation setups I've ever seen. So as you know, real estate at IMTS is a premium, right? It, it's, you, it's our chance to communicate to the world what we can do from a technology standpoint, we've got limited space to do it in. Even yeah. though we're a big booth within IMTS, we've got a lot of things that we want to communicate in a small space. So we started with the premise of using an Akuma robot loader, which is an out-of-the-box pre-engineered automation solution. And that's on the other side of that enclosure that, that's there. That's this system okay. right here, the ORL R8. So that's a rotary cell system that the robot turns. So an operator would be loading from the outside. Got it. The industrial robot on the inside would be loading the machine. We started with this, and then my thoughts went to, what would I be doing as an operator? I'd be loading the system, right? Definitely. Okay, so from a custom robotic integration, let me take me out of the equation. So we put a collaborative robot, this is a Fanuc CRX robot. So it's doing some other value added things. It's loading the Akuma robot loader, but it's also loading a gauge station. So we have a Renishaw Equator gauging station. Oh, so that's doing in process QA. I didn't even notice Correct. that there. Yep. And all that is tied to the control. So offsets and all that automatically goes to the control. No, no, no. So, so you're telling me if it detects that that's a little bit out there, it's going to automatically yeah. comp that. So we trend it. And then once we get to a certain point in our trend line, we say, okay, let's comp it down 5,000, for example, crazy. five tenths, whatever it is. So, but what this is meant for is to be able to open up conversations. Maybe the Renishaw equator is not what you need. But what do you need? A parts washing station, a blow off station, right. all of these peripheral devices we can communicate to. So that's the real purpose of this. And then again, how would I get parts here? Taking me out of the equation. So this is where we tie it into AMR. <laughs> so we have an AMR that's picking up carts and bringing the parts to different machines. One of our ideas was let's load every machine. But then right. just with traffic, I mean, you can see how busy the booth is. We, we tried to do it in a small space. So we have a GA grinder, one of our OD grinders. We have oh, yeah. a collaborative robot, Fanuc CRX robot, loading that. It's pulling raw material off the cart, putting finished material on. Oh, there and it then, goes now. Yeah. So that has in-process gauging. It's got a Marpos gauge that controls the grinding process. So we're taking the turn parts and the multis, bringing it over to the grinder, doing the finish operations on it. And like you said, because space is at a premium here, you're basically showing the concept of what could happen. Who right. knows, you could have that thing go to their final destination in the shop. Yeah. Now from there, they go to packaging, or maybe they go to paint, or they go to heat treat. Absolutely. These things could be running them to where they need to go. And, and you're hitting my point exactly on the head of what I was trying to show with this cell, is our tagline's open possibilities. So. I rare, really doubt that you as a customer are going to walk in and say, my gosh, wait, I'm so glad you're showing this. I need a grinder and a multis. This is exactly what I need. Reality is you're going to say, hey, this is neat stuff, but instead of driving a cart with parts in it, could it be a bundle of par bars going to a bar feeder? Right. Could it be a tool changer? Could it be a cart with tools on it going to an ATC with a robot feeding an ATC cabinet? Exactly. That's the purpose of this entire cell is Let's open up a deeper dialogue and talk about what are your specific needs, and then let me show you how we can address that through the Akuma Factory Automation this team. This is, it's such a, it really kind of takes your head for a little bit of a spin because, you know, you think, how do I take someone out? Well, you put a robot on one side. I don't see anybody doing this right now, which mm -hmm. is physically moving the parts around the factory. Right. And the nice thing is you could put in, let's say you had a giant place, you could put in some kind of conveyor belt. 
Yes. So then you're stuck with that conveyor belt. This thing, what if you want to change where your machines go? Absolutely. What if you wanted to do something on Monday and something different on Tuesday? Yeah. It's programming, that's, that's all right. it is. It could be moving parts right now, but maybe at the end of the shift, I need to move my chip bin over for the chip bin to be dumped. That could be set up with a fixture underneath that we grab the chip bin and drive it over. Don't say that too loud because my guys are gonna make me yeah, get one just go. to do that. <laughs> we can do it. And the other thing I have to point out is there's a very nice looking automation solver Absolutely. there. Do you mind if we take a peek? Absolutely. So this, I've seen something like this when we were in North Carolina at your facility, right. but not quite like this. So I wanna show you two aspects of this. So obviously we've got a robot loading a machine, right? That's not unique in and of itself. Right. We, we all, everybody in this booth has a robot loading a machine. We have a stocker table that we're feeding the robot. We have a parts blow off station. What is unique about it, if you'll walk with me around here, We have our, our digital twin, smart twin controller. Oh. So the programming, picture this as your desk. Right. When I set up my next job, or even the first job, I do it all in the virtual environment. You could be sitting in the comfort of your desk, setting this up, getting your program ready, and then you send it down to the smart twin controller, which is actually driving this entire system. Including the mill, in or the, the lathe in that case. Yes, so when you looked at the, the AMR cell, we've got a, uh, HMI, we have a PC, and then we have a PLC, all in different locations driving that entire system. Here, it's all in the smart twin controller. Wow. So this is driving all of the signals for the stocker table, for the parts blow off. So any kind of a system that we needed to engineer, we could use a smart twin controller to be able to communicate. This, Think of this like your traffic cop. Right. This is directing traffic to everything going on in the cell. This is like, you know, we talk about integration, we talk about mm -hmm. integrators and how difficult it can be. This is kind of taking all of that away and putting it all in one thing and away you go. This comes directly from Akuma and no need for an integrator. Right. That's essentially, I hate to say it like this, but the software that the integrators typically use to set a lot of this stuff up is what's living here. Right. We've got our collision avoidance software tied in with software from the robotics companies to handshake all of that, yeah. plus the PLC signals to control everything. So we're controlling all of this, and then we can customize it based on what your needs are. So anybody who wants to get an automation and really take control of it, this is available now and you probably want one. Absolutely. And where can people find out more about Okuma Factory Automation Solutions? Go to our website, akuma.com, look up all of our social media, and by all means, reach out to me or Simon, we'll be glad to direct traffic for And you. of course, you can come stop by their booth here at IMTS. They're going to be open all week, and you want to come see, see this automation for yourself. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure you stay tuned as we continue to go live from IMTS 2024.